okay, it's Wed Wednesdays, which is the day when I give you something that I'm not necessarily recommending, but I just want you to be aware of. And this week, some of you guessed it, it's too hot to handle. This retreat is full of the sexiest people in the world. A little case of beers. What's happening? I would rate myself a 10 out of 10. Bring that here, reel it in. Reality dating shows, uh, things like The Bachelor or whatever on network television, are always pretty cringy to me by premise. When Netflix decides to do these kinds of things, they always put in a little twist that makes it interesting to watch for someone like me because the production is always extremely self-aware. Okay, I'm getting all thinky about it. First, let's lay down the premise, and the trailer does a really good job of that. This is literally heaven on earth. Cheers to the sexy people. Thanks, guys. I'm Lana. Plot twist. No way. There are conditions to your stay here. Bloody hell. No kissing or sex of any kind. <gasps> oh, shit. Very sexy people. Extremely skinny. Old guys got that V shape going on. Cliches. It's not easy to go an extended period of time without any sexual release. More cliches. Time for growth. What kind of growth are you talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> and the airhead cliche. Aw. Think of your nan. Okay, seriously, though, there is a point in this thing where a girl says, and I'll just do a quick imitation. Oh my god, like 911. Seriously, what is the number for 911? I swear it happened. Money will be deducted for any sexual activity. All we want to do is rip each other's clothes off. I don't believe the premise at all. This retreat is to help you gain deeper emotional connections. Is blue balls a real thing? And we'll find out. Like, oh, please, whatever. But the reason the show is fun to watch is because of one, the narration. It is fantastic. It is so punchy, well written, and they're making fun of the people, yes, but I don't feel they ever push it too far. A line that Netflix knows how to ride, a la nailed it. If you disagree with me on that, then this pushes it even further so you can forget it. It's also really interesting to watch just because watching beautiful people is, is fun, even though a, a lot of them are not my exact preference, even physically. You can't deny, you know, certain things are beautiful to look at, sure. And then all the way through until the end when the money is or isn't dispersed and how much money is left, simply watching the mechanics of it are pretty fun. And then thinking about the inevitable season two and how they're gonna have to manipulate further, change it up a little bit, because of course, the secrecy of the premise is what made this version work for the people they cost. So will there be a season two? Is anybody interested? Was this worth to watch? It's background watching. So, you know, put it on while you're at your laptop. You don't need anything to actually distract you. Just like chuckle at. This is perfect for that. Unless there are children anywhere nearby, eh? Cause like, nah, there's not for them. But it could be for you. <laughs> All we've got to do is just keep our pants on. 